Hello and welcome to this video which will help you prepare for your ISA. This is all about how to draw perfect tables. Okay, so I've set up an experiment for Primrose. She has to run at either 10 centimetres, 20 centimetres, 30 centimetres, 40 centimetres or 50 centimetres to get her cat treats and while she's doing this I am going to time her. So just to recap because it's always good, the independent variable, the bit that I'm changing is the distance that she has to run and the dependent variable, the bit that I'm measuring is the time it takes her to get the cat traits. I'm going to show you how to draw a graph for this, sorry a table for this. And just as an important point here, I'm doing five different distances because that's the number we need to get a good nice graph. So this is the outline of my table here. I'm going to put distance in here. And that is in centimetres. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and I'm going to put time taken across the top here and that is in seconds um, as a point of interest here it is always best to measure your time in seconds because if you write something like 2.5 minutes down in your results and then you try and take an average it's really easy to make a mistake with your calculator so always try and write your results down in seconds um, first off and then you won't there's less chance of you making mistakes later on now to make this a nice experiment I need to do it three times so I need to have test one test two and test three my pen is skipping a bit I do apologize and then I need to have my average here. So that is my table. I have my headings, my units, my headings, my units. I've got test one, test two, test three, and my average.